This one, two, three punch from the winter that will not quit. The second storm now moving in on 142 million Americans who just dug out from the first one. And watch the map and the clock. Overnight, with each passing hour, more states, more Americans taking the latest hit. In the next 12 hours, 21 states in all. And we have been hearing from you about snow fatigue and all the salt from the roads slowly corroding your car. So our extreme weather team has a camera on it all tonight, and ABC's Clayton Sandell starts us off in the icy mess. After a snowy left jab, winter is now throwing an icy right hook. The second winter storm this week causing deadly ice buildup on Texas roads. Today, a truck went careening into a sheriff's deputy and three bystanders. One of the bystanders was killed. In Arkansas, a layer of ice is bringing down power lines. And in Wichita, Kansas, the only thing getting traction is frustration. In Missouri today, oh, should we hit the road? Yeah, let's hit it. We hit the road with snowplow driver Katie Horner Gonzalez, valiantly fighting an uphill battle. How dangerous is it out here for drivers? It's pretty dangerous. You, uh, you know, people really should stay off the road. Let us get out here. Let us clear it. Just to give you an idea of how fast this snow is coming down, this is what it looked like at about 8 o'clock this morning. And this is what it looked like at 4 o'clock. Winter's relentless slog is showing on hundreds of miles of roads. It's horrible. I actually probably ran over several potholes on the way here. And all the salt that's being used on the road is rusting the undersides of cars, corroding doors and brakes, and can ruin the paint. A quick car wash can prevent that, but it won't fix a crash. In Atlanta, auto repair shops are 10 times busier than normal. Hail storms are nightmares, floods are nightmares, snow is absolutely the worst. Across two thirds of the U.S., school districts are reporting more snow days than normal. I know we may have to go to school till the end of July. In their message to parents, this Kentucky elementary school principal and drama teacher are hoping laughter cures a bit of cabin fever. School is canceled. 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 Because it's cold. And Diane, you can see we've already hit five inches here in Kansas City, but this storm is not done yet. Forecasters say it could come down as much as an inch per hour tonight, reaching a foot in some places before moving east overnight. Diane. And Clayton, more on the way. Now ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z tells us how fast the current storm is moving and when the next one comes. Ginger. Yeah, this one is cooking across the nation. Let me show you the timing because everybody wondering, wait, it's not snowing on the East Coast yet. Don't worry, it will. We'll start in the overnight hours, but here we go. So places like Cleveland, even southeastern Michigan, gonna get in on it tonight. Look, we stopped at 3 a.m. New York City starts getting snow, but watch that rain snow line because it is going to go from heavy snow quickly to freezing rain and a mix. That's going to cut down snow totals and all of us get rid of it tomorrow afternoon and certainly by the evening through New England. Boston could get a big a snow amount out of this. They've been a little under 6 to 12 inches in the pink. That's north of New York City, Washington, D.C. and Cincinnati both get in that freezing rain, so they're going to have some ice issues, Diane.